Hi, it's Mama D. Welcome back to my channel, Mama D Reacts, and we are going to look at episode six of the first season of The Last Kingdom, and we will see um, what happens now as Uhtred continues with his relationship with uh, King Alfred, one of the Saxons, and as we know, he was kidnapped by the Danes when he was a kid and raised by the Danes, so he's got a lot of their characteristics. He has absolutely no patience and a uh, really bad temper. So let's see where we go from here. And. You certain you want to do this, Arthur? Is there a law against it? Dressing up as Danes? No. Wandering Cornwallen, yes. It's supposed to be a peace. Cornwallen. If I'm to reclaim Bevanbar, I'll need an army. Headed. If I'm ever to raise an army, I'll need silver. We go. I have no quarrel. Well, I don't know, miss you. I'm doing as he asks, and watching you. He's building Alfred a church at Kernwit. Have you heard? With an altar of gold, they say. Who are they? They belong to Oswald. My mother sends them, hoping to shame me for killing their lying, thieving father. I see the plan is working. <laughs> I'm not the first to lose a parent. They live. Food is good, Mildred. Thank you. Did you like it? I was beginning to believe you had lost your tongue, wife. I was worried. I doubt it. She grieves for the thief. Not my business. He kills a man that I have known all my life. He refuses to pay Wergill to a family I've known all my life, and the village my father helped build. Now call him Uhtred the Godless. Not forgetting I refuse to have my son baptized a Christian. I'll excuse myself. <laughs> hey, Fridge said, <laughs> none of this is my business. I'll stop. He cracks me up. <clears throat> he does not want to be involved watching that fight. Tomorrow I'll be gone. Gone? Should anyone ask? We're keeping Alfred's kingdom safe. Again. For how long will you be gone? And gone where? No idea how long. Weeks? Your place is here. Oswald's wife has gone to Bishop Aylwald. The bishop will go to Alfred and Alfred will send I men to our I won't pay a penny. And if men do come calling, that's what you'll tell them. He was killed because he was a thief. That's my law. Leave me and I'll go directly to the church and have our son blessed. Then he won't be my son. Ooh. May God forgive you for saying such a thing. Which God? What has happened to you? What has happened to the kindness and perhaps even the love you have once I shown me? I was made to crawl. Yes, before God. We all fall to our knees before God. I won't forget what Alfred did to me in the name of his God. I reject that God. I will excuse myself. <laughs> Are you there still? The man I cared for. Are you there still? The woman I ached to plow? Oh, that's romantic. <clears throat> With your permission, I'd like to place the altar just here. Why would you need my permission? It's on the exact spot where Abba Lothbrokson is now buried. You wish God's altar to be built over the buried remains of a pagan? Oh, no. No, Lord. With your permission, we will exhume the remains and, I don't know, have them thrown into the river. You will exhume the remains and have them buried elsewhere, unmarked, but with respect. It was a joke, Lord, a poor joke. We must do nothing to endanger the peace. With respect, Lord, I am not the fool my father at times <clears throat> made me out to be. Father Bianca, you wish to see me? Uh, a letter, Lord, from the Bishop Aylwald. Private or business? A matter of law, I was told. Then read it. Let Odder's active mind rest. Well, can you not read the writing, Bilker? It concerns the alderman Uhtred. He has slain a farm worker and is refusing to pay the monies owed to the family, the Wergild. 
Would you like me to investigate further, Lord? No. No, it is not your place. Odda, you shall investigate the rights and oh, wrongs of the matter of my heart. Investigate. I only hope for the sake of Uhtred's wife, the killing was justified. Uhtred has always been fair-minded. I'm sure there are mitigations. Mm, we shall see. In the meantime, Odda, do your best. Keep the peace. Yes, Lord. Father Bayoka. The letter. You might do well to examine your loyalties, Father. Ooh, you little My loyalties are to God and to the King in that order. Lord, are you suggesting I am wrong? I'm suggesting nothing of the sort. What an ass. But I am watching <clears throat> you. Ooh, you are watching him. And okay. God is watching all of us. Thank you. Because you're a piece of shtick. I can't stand it. Bootrack! Bootrack! I'll find the wealth to pay off the debt. We want the same thing, the land of our birth. Yours won't be taken from you. Mine? Are you no longer the elderman? I'll never be accepted as an elderman. Not here. Then I beg you for one last time. Change your ways, Uhtred. If you allow God into your heart, he will guide you. I can never become the man you want me to be. You could try. I would despise that man. Arsling! Leverage cracks me up. I have loved you. Don't pray for me. Oh. Chiom, but goodbye, Arsley. <laughs> I want to have left the Wessex by tonight. Every man stand where he is. No one move. You! Stay where you are. Do I know you? Lower your hood. Uh-oh. I said lower your hood! I wonder who it is. Ethelwald. Ethelwald. I, I, I merely want to come with you to be part of your adventure. I wanted it to be a surprise. <laughs> he cannot be here. He cannot hold his tongue. Right. I say we kill him. Kill me? You, you can't kill me. I'm the rightful king, you fool. Not here. Let's <laughs> drag him into Cornwallis. Not now. You, you can't. Uhtred. You owe me a favor, I call it in now. If Alfred hears of Christians raiding Cornwall, we will all be killed. He guarantees that outcome. Leofric, I am a changed man, I swear. We kill him. He will not be missed. We take him with us. Yeah. <laughs> I owe him. It's my responsibility. He has my protection. And he will protect the rest of us. I've never seen him so angry. He will clean our mail and tend to the horses. Anything. You will wipe our asses if I say so. Of course. I'm gathering the moss and dock leaves as you speak, Lord. <laughs> wipe your butt with moss. Good day, Lord. Tell your master, Elder Monodo is here, with God's Bishop Beowulf. Yes, Lord. You're Danes now! Pagans! You don't cross yourself, nor look to the heavens! <laughs> Let's make ourselves rich! Where is it? 
Five days and nothing. There's time yet. We're not the first things they've seen. I need silver. So we keep looking. And what if the whole of Cornwall has been sacked already? We keep looking. We keep heading west. They want to speak. Five men to match theirs. And only I speak. At the world? I heard. <laughs> only the great Utrecht speaks. I am Brother Asa. I bring you a gift from my king. From King Parada. King who? King Parada. Of the Britons. Never heard of him. I assure you my king has heard of you. A troop of Danes raiding villages in Cornwallam does not go unnoticed. Why does your parada send me these miserable offerings? A gesture of peace. A token. Our king has been attacked by a fellow Briton and neighbor, Callum, whose forces have seized the fort guarding our land. I am sent to tell you, parada will pay you well to help him recapture this fort. Pay as well? How much? I do not know the sum, but I am sure he will be generous. Winchester does not. Alfred is not. The king greets you. He does. I hear nothing. You are pagans. The king is Christian and will only speak with you through me. If you would come forward and pay your respects. Uh, mm -mm. Please inform the king Danes don't bow to Christians. This fort you want us to recapture, it's defended by how many Britons? And what price will you pay? It would be much simpler if the king addressed me directly. Right. Easy. They have between 40 and 50 men. No more than 50. We are 30 fighting men. And we're 20. How much in silver? 100 pieces of silver. Oh, that ain't crap. I won't bargain. Mm -mm. I'll tell you the price. 400 pieces of silver. That is an absurd sum. Is Perdera king or not? Right. I will call for Queen Isolt. But Lord, perhaps instead you should take a moment and pray for... Isolt! You are needed! I am blessed with two wives, two queens. Isult is a shadow queen. You know what I require of you, of course you do. What will he do for the king? I'm Wiltred Ragnarsson. I'm here to fight for your king. 
pays me what I'm worth. Ooh, he's gonna like start to kiss her. Not. He is the one. Call the men up. We stay here. <clears throat> I'll dream about that shadow queen. You told her your name. A word travels. Utrecht Ragnarsson. I notice that you have some Saxons amongst your ranks. Some from Mercia. I'd rather fight than work in the fields. The pace better. He would like to attack at the earliest opportunity. Tell the King Jarvis men ready. Any in the fort to try to escape are yours, yes? You will do your part, Dane. I will do mine. Walk on, advance! Let's scare the shit out of these bastard Britons. See if they have the stomach for this. Why would they leave a fortress to face us? Ethelwald, advance. Go on the ridge and see where they're prepared to leave the fortress. Oh, my own. He wants to be first in line. That's right. suggest we listen. Battle prize. Silver. And he says it's hidden in the fortress. <laughs> no. No, we have ripped the fortress apart. We found nothing. You must have something. Somewhere. Whatever he has, I say we split. Half and half. We kill his men. We spare the king. He takes us to his wealth. Half and half. I will advance. You will turn. And we will attack together. Oh, I bet his breath is funky. Ooh. Now, <clears throat> this is for the benefit of the king. Oh, you bastard piece of brass runner! I'll destroy you! Yeah. Be ready. We kill them all. Every last one of them dies. Tell the men we're with the Danes. Trust his scorpion. No choice but to trust him. Ooh. 
They set them up big time. Your wealth. My wealth for my life, is it? Your wealth and your shadow queen. Oh, useless bitch. She saw victory. Where's the silver? If I tell you, you'll kill me, and I would rather you remain poor. You have my word. Huh. As a warlord, you will be spared. His word is about as good Where as it. Is the silver? Speak, or you will die. It's buried in the hall beneath my throne. I need a small amount of my throne. <laughs> oh, the bloody teeth are nasty. How do we do this? How do we share? We don't. Oh, see, you couldn't trust share. him. Oh, we can fight. And some of us will die. Including your queen. You should have knew you couldn't trust him. You tried, Rockinson. Keep your sword in its scabbard. Wise queen. She stays with me. She stays with me. Do nothing. <laughs> There's more. Silver. Underneath the chicken poop. What did he whisper, Scorpio, when he was leaving? I will tell you when I believe you need to know. This isn't part of the plunder. It's a holy cross. Goes back to the church. There'll be blessings. But the rest? It's all out. <laughs> I know you. Hmm. Who tread? The godless, yes. My wife, through her father, has inherited a debt to the church. Oh, yes. A substantial debt, I recall. Which I would now discharge. You would? Very well. As you see, we're busy with... <laughs> Consider all matters resolved. <laughs> Bless you. I've been praying daily for your safe return. He just brings this woman up in his house? Is this? She's a queen. Queen of where? Who? Britons. Uhtred, you walked by your son without a look. Is he baptized now? Yes. Against my wishes. I have done nothing that requires forgiveness. What's her name? I'm called Isolt. I'm speaking with my husband. You can kindly remain silent. Mildred, we are hungry, thirsty, and in need of rest. <laughs> ha! I am not your servant. Thank you. Do not speak to me as if I were. I exactly. am your wife. Exactly. Thank you. You are no longer a part of Itrid's path. What? It is true. Ooh. Out. 
You're lucky she don't slap Ouch! the shit this out of you. This queen can sleep with the animals! You should know that your land is safe. I've seen Bishop Aylwall, the death settled all of it. That's what I've come to tell you. Nothing more. And what of Oswald's work, Guild? That too is settled. His family won't receive a penny. Then you can explain that to the King's Council. Alfred has called you to the Witten. It's finished. Everything. Before I left, I said that I've loved you. It's true. You will not speak of us in this way. And in the presence of a pagan whore. She's with me. Ooh. Will you be resting with your family? Or with the animals? <laughs> He's resting with the animals. You chose the company of pigs and a goat over your wife and son? Yeah, I don't like that at all. I thought he was a man of honor. My wife's a good woman. She loves her God, and it's hard for her to be with the like of me. <laughs> and if the marriage is to be ended, I must become used to life without my son. Attend us, Witten. Will you sleep alongside me tonight under the furs? Sleep? Nothing more. I would like that. Has the only other source of warmth to be a goat? <laughs> Oh, I can't believe you did that to her. She was such a nice person. Edwina. Lady. Please inform your family that I'll be traveling. With the child. We will leave for Lord Otter's estate. I would like you with me. But it is your decision. I know how important it is to be amongst the people who care for you. I would not wish to leave you. <laughs> the very day I'm told that my home is my own. Grant wisdom to your servants gathered here. Help them to decide what is right, what is just, and what is fair. Grant us this, O oh Lord. Elderman Uhtred, also known in your parish as Uhtred the Godless. <laughs> you are on this day charged with taking a troop of the king's men into Cornwallum, and there making war against the Britons without your king's consent. You are also charged with joining forces with the Dane called Scorpa Ooh. to murder Christian folk Somebody in Cornwallum, despite these folk all living in peace with Alfred and with Wessex. All this is proven with oaths, and the punishment for these crimes is death. Which is what you want. Who swears these oaths? We shall get to that. Show me who swears. I, Brother Asa, swear these oaths. Put it to your knees. Never. Lord, we were patrolling your borders and protecting your kingdom. Nothing more. There is more to my story, Lord, if I may. Now is the time to bet. Yes. Let him speak. Let's hear his story. On my way to make this complaint to King Alfred, I came by a colonel and such a sight I hope never to see again. For where the church to commemorate Lord Odder's victory over Abba was to be built, I saw devastation, destruction, and the charred remains of 15 monks or more. 
Men have told me that this evil was the work of the very same Scorpa who was in Cornwallum, and that with him once more was the Elderman Utrecht. No. This man! No, these are lies, Lord! Lord, he lies with every breath! Lord, hear me, let me speak and hear the truth! We speak. are the Witten! And we shall behave in the way of a Witten! The Elderman is entitled to respond. Yes, I was at Kernwit. I was at Kernwit once, and once only. I was at Kernwit on the day that I, Uhtred of Bebenberg, killed Abba. I look around this hall, and into the eyes of the warriors who know this to be true. And that is the only occasion I was at Kernwit. We are here. We are here to deliver judgment on the murder of King Perida and the Christian Britons of Cornwallum. Then if I can speak of Cornwallum, There is a further Lord. witness, I believe. What if Perida's queen was to stand in front of this witness and tell you that Perida lied and cheated us? She is a shadow queen and a pagan, Lord. Her words would be meaningless. Is the truth not important, Lord? Lord! I doubt we shall move on. There is a further witness. Yes, Lord. Bring the prisoner. What? Etheridge? What is this? Odo means for you to we'll die as a traitor. Separate. And you will die. If it is Valhalla you want, I will do my best I to give it. I said you will stand separate. Etheridge, <clears throat> you have sworn your oath. You will tell the truth. I will, Lord. God is merciful. You are a man of Wessex. And have been loyal to the king. I am loyal to the king, Lord. Always. Were well, you in Cornwallum with the Elderman Utrecht? I was. Oh my Did you God. kill and plunder Perida and his Britons? I did. Lady French, have you now donated your share of the plunder to the church? I have, Lord. And I've begged forgiveness. The Witten hears you, Leifrich. Whom did you follow into battle? I went willingly, Lord. No. Utrecht led, you followed. He is the elder man, and he is to blame. I share the blame, Lord. No, he is responsible. Irresponsible. And he will pay for it with his life. For the last time, beg. No. No, I will not beg. I will fall to my knees for no man, no king, and no Christian God. Uh-uh. He must pay with his life. Uh -oh. Lord, if I may make a plea to the king and the witness. I have not yet finished. Thank your pardon, Lord, sure. but if I may. It is clear that, like me, the arsling here is guilty. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> it is also clear that he is too proud and too stupid to repent. And as a consequence, will die. He will die for leading men to treachery. Shut because up. Because of my own guilt. And because of my respect for Uhtred as a warrior. I request that he dies of my sword. What? You wish to become executioner, Leifrich? My plea is for a fight to the death, Lord. Oh me my God! Oh, that gives me chills. If God is with me, mm. I will be the victor, and the elderman is allowed to die as a warrior should. If he should win this fight to the death, what then? He will not. It would take God's intervention for him to beat me. Let them fight, Lord. Let God decide. Lord, Lord, it is clear the guilt lies with Utrecht. Shut up! You have spoken well. And your request is granted. <laughs> you will fight tomorrow. To the death. Swords and shields. Wow. God shall determine the victor. What the hell? He's got a plan or something, because he couldn't be doing that intentionally. There's no way he could be doing that intentionally.
Maybe he is, I don't know. But that just, that kind of shocked me there because I didn't see that coming at all. <clears throat> so I'm looking forward to the next episode to see what happens with this. But I'm really disappointed in U Uhtred, I always say Uhtred, Uhtred for doing what he did to his wife. That was really shitty. And his baby. But we shall see what happens in the next episode. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out.